What is the meaning of the word consubstantial in the new translation of the Nicene Creed? In the original translation, we say God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one in being with the Father. But in the new translation, we say consubstantial with the Father. What is the Latin word that this word consubstantial is translating? In fact, it's very close, an almost exact translation of the Latin word consubstantialum. And if we break apart this word into two, con, with, substance, substance, being, or essence, we can say that Jesus is one essence with the Father. And this word consubstantialum in Latin is actually a translation of the original Greek, used in the ecumenical councils that developed the Nicene Creed. And the original word is homoousion in Greek, and this word has a similar meaning. Home, same, ousion or ousios means being or essence or substance. And the word means of the same essence or Jesus Christ is of the same essence as the Father. And these words address an essential question that has been asked throughout the church's history from its very beginning. Who is or who was Jesus Christ? And artists through the centuries have tried to portray both the divinity and the humanity of Jesus Christ. And many theologians and Christian churches have argued over this very question and whether or not Jesus was God or man, or more God or more man. And the creeds are meant to s settle this question. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, quoting from the Council of Chalcedon, we hear that Jesus is both divine and human, truly God, truly man, consubstantial with the Father as to his divinity, and consubstantial with us as to his humanity. Christ is of the same essence as the Father. Christ is fully God and at the same time fully human. And this is meant to oppose anyone who would say that Jesus was half God and half human or some kind of superhuman or only human or only divine. That Jesus became man while staying fully God, fully divine, as in his essence, as God the Father is divine. Jesus became man so that man could share in the divinity of Christ.